So we're going we're gonna to try to establish why the mean value theorem is true. Um, and a stepping stone for doing that is usually a special case known as Rolle's theorem. Okay. So Rolle's theorem makes the following assumptions. So it's going to assume, just like the mean value theorem, that f is continuous on a, b. And it's going to assume that f is differentiable on the open interval from a to b. Okay? But it's going to make one more assumption. It's going to assume that your function has the same value at both endpoints. Under those conditions, you are guaranteed that there is at least one point C where f prime is equal to 0. OK? That's what Rolle's theorem says. And if you, if you kind of think about this visually, it's, it's pretty clear why Rolle's theorem has to be true. Right? You can sort of look at some cases. Right? Um, so one, one possible but not very interesting case for Rolle's theorem is that your function is just constant, right? So constant functions are certainly continuous. They're differentiable everywhere. And, and certainly it has the same value at both endpoints. It has the same value at every point, right? Uh, but we also know that the derivative is equal to 0 at every single point on the interval, right? OK, so Rolle's theorem is true there. Um, now, suppose that your function is not constant. All right. Well, if it's not constant, it, we know from the extreme value theorem that the function still has to have an absolute maximum and an absolute minimum, right? Um, and they can't both occur at the endpoints because if the maximum equals the minimum, then your function is constant, right? If, if you have a non-constant function, the maximum is going to be bigger than the minimum, right? And, and since the function has to be equal at the two endpoints, if your function is not constant, um, perhaps one of the min or the max occurs at the endpoint, but the other one has to happen somewhere else. So maybe you have a graph that looks like this, right? Or like this. Or maybe it does this, right? Whatever the case, you know that you know, at most one of the absolute max or the absolute min can occur at the end point. We know the other one has to occur at a critical point, right? We're assuming the function is differentiable everywhere, so there are no critical points where the derivative is undefined. Therefore, that critical point has to be a place where the derivative is zero, okay? So that's why Rolle's theorem is true, right? So Rolle's theorem basically says that if your y value begins and ends at the same point, then somewhere in between, you have to have a horizontal tangent. Okay? That's Rolle's theorem. We'll, uh, we'll look at one example where we might put Rolle's theorem to, to, to use, and then we're going to prove the mean value theorem.